ram the vala baba nam the vala baba nam the vala baba nam he va
Liberation from Stasticity The essence of the human mind is known as intellect. Intuition cannot be precisely called the essence of the mind. In fact, intuition is subtler than the mind and very special aspect of human existence. Intuition should be called the eleventh organ or the sixth sense. Discrimination between holy and unholy, permanent and impermanent, pure and impure in the intellectual sphere has a certain yardstick of its own. This yardstick should remain unstained. Due to the bondage of various types of exploitation and tyranny against the intellect and the physical sphere, the human spirit wreaths its suppressed agony. Likewise, in the mental sphere, the human capacity to think is snatched away. And in the same way, in the intellectual sphere, where human beings try to think and act for their spiritual intellectual unfoldment, various kinds of dogma arise and create obstacles. What is dogma? Dogma is a preconceived idea which forbids human beings to outstep the limits of that idea or object. In the situation the human intellect cannot freely function, some people say, 
All right, we may not get the maximum utilization of our intellect, yet we can have at least 10 to 20% of its services. My considered opinion is that where there is dogma, even 10 to 20% of the human intellect cannot be properly utilized, and the meager amount of intellect used is not something worthwhile. The greatest treasure of human beings is their psychic faculty, or their intellect. When I cannot utilize this precious intellect to its fullest advantage, what more tragic situation could there be than this? So we need the liberation of the human mind, and even before this, we need the liberation of the human intellect. Ananda Varkartam, Part 18, Neo-Humanism in a Nutshell, Part 1. The fourth and fifth layers of the mind. The second layer of intuition, or the fourth layer of the mind, is called Vigyanamaya Kosha. The word Vigyan means special knowledge. Developing this layer brings us detachment and discrimination. It is the source of conscience and wisdom. At this level, our minds are somewhat free from the influence of our karma shaya and the various traits of our personality. Therefore, we can do, make better decisions. Decisions that are more in tune with our true nature. With the help of this layer, we can see clearly what to do or not to do. Another property of this layer is detachment. This allows us to utilize and treat everything in the right way, free of personal preference. We become able to utilize the wealth of the world without being attached to it and to treat people in the right way without bias. This layer is developed through concentration or dharana, another of the eight limbs of yoga. As a consequence, we see reality more clearly and make wiser decisions. We might not notice at first. Sometimes others are the first to notice how we have changed. Beyond this lies the fifth layer of the mind, third layer of intuition, known as the Hiranyamaya Kosha, or the golden layer. This is the layer of awareness and bliss. It is the most expanded, the biggest layer in where what we experience goes beyond thoughts or words. When we talked about the previous layers, we mentioned a series of particular abilities that would help us deal with our life. The golden layer is different. Rather than giving us a new set of abilities, it connects us to a limitless source of bliss. Our minds work in an integrated way, utilizing the different koshas. In some minds, a certain kosha predominates and is in control. In other minds, another kosha predominates. The higher the kosha which is dominating, the better. As a summary, today we learned about the two highest layers of the mind, the Vigyanamaya kosha, the layer of special knowledge, the Hiranyamaya kosha, the golden layer. Special knowledge means 
detachment and discrimination, wisdom and conscience, the capacity to make wise decisions and to treat everyone and everything fairly. Golden is the bliss we experience by coming in contact with a limitless source. A limitless source that lies in the depth of our own self. <laughs>